Welcome back to my channel Math School. In today's video, let us solve the question number 1, part 2 from exercise 3.2, chapter 3, pair of linear equations and two variables. In my previous videos, I have completed the examples 1 to 6 and exercise 3.1 from the same chapter. If you have not watched these videos, do find the link in the description box below or click the i button above. So now quickly, let us begin with the video. Part 2 from question number 1, exercise 3.2, chapter 3, pair of linear equations in two variables says, form the pair of linear equations in the following problems and find their solutions graphically. So they have given a condition here. So 5 pencils and 7 pens together cost rupees 50, whereas 7 pencils and 5 pens together cost rupees 46. Find the cost of one pencil and that of one pen. So this question is very much similar to the first part of the question number 1. So here we have to find out cost of each pencil and each pen. So since we don't know the cost of each pencil and pen, let us first assume the cost of each pencil to be x rupees and cost of each pen to be y rupees. Write down let the cost of each pencil be equal to rupees x. Similarly, let the cost of each pen be equal to rupees y. Right now here they have given us the two condition that is cost of 5 pencil plus cost of 7 pens together will cost rupees 50. Right here the cost of each pen is x so 5 pencil will cost 5 into x right. So write down 5 into cost of each pencil that is x will give you cost of 5 pencil together means we have to take plus cost of each pen is y rupees total cost of seven pens will be seven into y so together it is costing rupees 50 okay so this forms the equation number one similarly from the second condition we will form the second equation so here they have given us seven pencils and five pens together will cost rupees 46 five pencil cost is how much cost of each pencil that is x into 7 will give you the cost of 7 pencils plus similarly cost of each pen is rupees y so 5 pens will cost 5 y rupees okay so 7 pencils plus 5 pens together it will cost rupees 46 that is given in the question so this forms the equation number so this question is very easy to solve unless you should know how to write down the equations from the given conditions in the questions. So now using these two equations, we will find out the x and y value and then we will plot a graph and we will solve it graphically. Right. So for that, first of all, let us find out value of x from equation 1. So to find that, we will send all the other terms to right hand side. So 5x will be equal to 50 minus 7y. This plus 7y will become minus 7y. Now again, sending this 5 to right hand side, we get x is equal to 50 minus 7y divided by 5. Since here it is in multiplication, when it is goes to the right hand side, it comes in division form. So now let us substitute the y value and find out the x value. So here initially I will take the y value as 0. So what will be the x value substituting the y that is 50 minus 7 into 0 divided by 5. 7 into 0 will be 0. So we get 50 divided by 5. So cancelling 5 1 times 5 10 times. So here we got x value as 10. Similarly, let us take now y value as 5. You can take anything according to your own. So here I am taking as 5. So x is equal to 50 minus 7 into 5 divided by 5. We get 50 minus 7 is 35 divided by 5. So what is 50 minus 35? It is 15. So 15 divided by 5. So cancelling 5 1 times 5 3 is 15. So we get x value as 3. So let us draw the table for these values now. So we have x and y for y equal to 0 we got x as 10 and for y equal to 5 we got x value as 3. Now similarly let us find out the x value in the equation 2. Let us send all the other terms to right hand side. So 7x is equal to 46 
minus this plus 5i will become minus 5i when it goes to the right hand side. So again sending this 7 also to the right hand side we get x is equal to 46 minus 5i divided by 7. Now let us substitute the y values and obtain the x values. So here let us assume y to be equal to 5. x will be equal to 46 minus 5 into 5 divided by 7. So that will be 46 minus 5 into 5 it is 25 divided by 7. So what is 46 minus 25? 6 minus 5 is 1 and 4 minus 2 is 2. So that is 21 divided by 7 cancelling 7 1 times 7 3 times. So we get x value here as 3. Similarly let us substitute y equal to 4. So we get x is equal to 46 minus 5 into 4 divided by 7. So that is 46 minus 5 into 4 it is 20 divided by 7. So 6 minus 0 is 6, 4 minus 2 is 2 divided by 7. So here we got 26 divided by 7. So let us divide and find out its value. We will get some decimal number. Here we can take 7, 3 is our 21. So 6 minus 1 we get a 5 here. So add a point. So we get a 0 here. So 7, 7 is our 49. So again one is a remainder. We can do the division further but for us this value is enough for now. We can take the value as 3.7 as. Now again let us draw the table for these values. So we get x and y for y equal to 5 we got x value as 3. Similarly for y equal to 4 we got x value as 3.7 right. So this is how we obtain the tables from the equation. So now let us plot the graph for these tables and find out the solution graphically. So now let us plot the graph on x-axis and y-axis. So this is the table from the first equation 5x plus 7y is equal to 50. The first point is at x equal to 10 and y equal to 0. On x-axis it is 10 and on y-axis it is 0. Obtain a point here and let us name this point as a at x equal to 10 and y equal to 0. Similarly, the second point is at x equal to 3 and y equal to 5. So on x axis we have to take 3 and on y axis we have to take 5. We get a point here. Let us mark this point as b at x equal to 3 and y equal to 5. Now let us draw a line through these two points. This line represents the equation 5x plus 7y equal to 50. Right? Now similarly let us plot the points from the second equation. That is 7x plus 5y equal to 46. So here the first point is at x equal to 3 and y equal to 5. x axis we have to take 3 and on y axis we have to take 5. So this point is common for both the lines. So let us mark this point as p at x equal to 3 and y equal to 5. Similarly the second point is at x equal to 3.7 and y equal to 4. On x axis we have to take 3.7 so this is 3 and this is 4 in between this is 3.5 so here we get 3.7 and on y axis we have to take 4 right so we obtain a point here let us take this point as q x equal to 3.7 y equal to 4 so let us draw the line between these two points so we obtain the line here representing the equation 7x plus 5y equal to 46. So here we observe that the t these two lines intersect at a point that is 3 comma 4. So this point forms the unique solution for these two lines. So now let us substitute these values that is x equal to 3 and y equal to 5 in the equation 5x plus 7y is equal to 50 and 7x plus 5y is equal to 46 and verify whether this solution satisfies the equation or not. So we obtain the point at x equal to 3 and y equal to 5. Now let us verify with equation 1 which is given by 5x plus 7y is equal to 50. 5 into x value is 3 plus 7 into y value is 5. So this will be 5 threes are 15 plus 7 fives are 35. So 15 plus 35 is equal to 50. Right. So left hand side is equal to right hand side. So which satisfies the first equation. Similarly let us check for second equation that is 7x plus 5y is equal to 46. 7 into x value is 3 plus 5 into y value is 5. So 7 into 3 it is 21 plus 5 fives are 25. So if you add 5 plus 1 it is 6. 2 plus 2 is 4. 
so we get 46 is equal to 46 right so it satisfies left hand side is equal to the right hand side so it satisfies the second equation therefore we can say that the point at x equal to 3 and y equal to 5 is the solution for the given pair of linear equations so therefore write down since 3 comma 5 is a unique solution for the two pair of linear equation okay so this is how we solve this part two from the question number one graphically if you have any further doubts do comment me below in the comment section in my next video i'll be solving question number two from exercise 3.2 chapter three pair of linear equations in two variables so till then do like my video subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos as i'll be completing the whole syllabus for class 10th slc and cert math and also do watch the related videos of chapter three pair of linear equations shown on the screen Thank you.